بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر ڈاکٹر محمد عثمان فرام ایزی فیزیو اینڈ ان دس شارٹ ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس تھری ویری امپورٹنٹ کنسیپٹس ریگارڈنگ دا نرو فیزیولوجی دیٹ از دا میمبرین پوٹینشیل ڈیفیوژن پوٹینشیل اینڈ دا نرس پوٹینشیل نو میمبرین پوٹینشیل از سمپلی ایز دا نیم انڈیکیٹس اٹ از دا پوٹینشیل اور چارج اور وولٹیج on the membrane as you can see here this is a semi permeable cell membrane or you can say nerve fiber membrane and uh, across this membrane various ions are present and there is unequal distribution of ions like sodium ions they are more on the outside of the cell in the extracellular fluid and uh, potassium ions and there is various anions they are more on the uh, inside of the cell membrane so uh, due to this uh, unequal distribution of various ions a charge or voltage or potential difference it develops on this cell membrane and this potential is called membrane potential uh, it is measured in millivolts and there are various types of membrane potentials like diffusion potential nernst potential or equilibrium potential then rmp or resting membrane potential local potential and finally action potential in this video we will talk only about the diffusion potential and the nernst potential while the rest of the potentials uh, will be covered in the subsequent videos inshallah taala diffusion potential <coughs> as the name indicates it is the potential due to diffusion of an ion okay the potential on a membrane due to diffusion or you can say concentration difference of an ion diffusion potentials of different ions are different obviously because of the difference in the in their concentration on the two sides of the cell membrane because various ions have different concentrations on the two sides of the cell membrane that is why the diffusion potential conferred by them will also be different for example here you are seeing again that semi permeable membrane and uh, this is semi permeable membrane this is the extracellular compartment and this is the intracellular compartment okay now in the extracellular compartment here the sodium ions are abundant sodium ions are abundant and their concentration is about 142 milli equilibrium per liter while on the inside of the cell the sodium ions they are much less they are only 14 milli equilibrium per liter so sodium ions will have a natural tendency to flow from outside to the inside of the cell and due to this diffusion of the sodium ions the potential which will develop on this membrane that will be called sodium diffusion potential similarly the potassium ions they are less on the outside and they are much more on the inside so along the concentration gradient the potassium ions will have tendency to move from inside of the cell to the outside of the cell and again the potential which will develop on this membrane due to diffusion or movement of these potassium ions it will be called potassium diffusion potential so this was about the diffusion potential now we move on to the nernst potential we can define it like it is the diffusion potential level across a membrane which exactly opposes the net diffusion of a particular ion through the membrane i repeat it is that diffusion potential level across a membrane which exactly opposes the net diffusion of a particular ion through the membrane now it may uh, be seeming somewhat confusing to you but we will uh, explain it in the subsequent <coughs> slides okay please note that uh, at this potential level two things happen one the net diffusion of a particular ion about which you are talking about it across the membrane it stops so net diffusion of a particular ion across the membrane it stops the second the ionic concentration of that ion on one side of the membrane it comes in equilibrium with the ionic concentration of that ion on the other side of the membrane 
okay the ionic concentration of that particular ion on the two sides of the membrane it is equilibrated that is why this nans potential is also called equilibrium potential so this figure uh, beautifully explains the concept of nans potential suppose this is an axon or nerve fiber which is only permeable to the sodium ions so sodium ions along the concentration gradient because their concentration is more on the outside and less inside so along the concentration gradient they will move from outside to the inside so there will be a loss of positivity from the outside which is equal to the gain of negativity that is anion is written here so once the sodium ions they accumulate inside then positive charges will start accumulating inside and now what will happen this positive positive will repel each other and yes an electrical gradient will be established by the sodium ions which will tend to move the sodium ions from inside to the outside so this electrical gradient this will oppose the net movement of the sodium ions along the concentration gradient from outside to inside now at this particular situation the charge which develops on this membrane it is called nans potential of sodium ions and it is equal to about 61 millivolts okay now same is the case for potassium ions we know that potassium ions are more inside and less outside so along the concentration gradient they will move from inside to outside along the concentration gradient the potassium ions will will move from inside to the outside and similarly after some time they will accumulate outside and so positive potassium ion will repel the positive potassium ions so along the electrical gradient the potassium will tend to move from outside to inside and this electrical gradient will again just like sodium it will oppose the net movement of the potassium ions along the concentration gradient from inside to outside so at this situation at this point the charge on this nerve fiber or axon it will be called nans potential for potassium and its value is about 94 millivolts now nans potential uh, can be calculated using an equation which is called nans equation and uh, it is shown here now regarding the sign of the potential there is a convention the sign of nans potential is negative if the ion diffusing from inside to outside is a positive ion for example we know that potassium is a positive ion and it diffuses from inside to outside and the sign of the nans potential will be positive if the ion diffusing from inside to outside is a negative ion so that's why the nans potential for potassium we say that it is minus 94 millivolts according to the this above convention negative sign is placed here okay we say that the nans potential for potassium is minus 94 millivolts and the nans potential for sodium ions it is said to be plus 61 millivolts and it is according to this situation why because the sodium is also a positive ion just like the uh, sodium is a positive ion just like the potassium ion but because it diffuses in the reverse direction that it does not diffuse from inside to outside but we know that it diffuses from outside from ecf to the inside so that's why its sign is reversed and it is plus 61 millivolts now uh, briefly about the goldman equation now in the previous examples we talked about a membrane which was permeable to only one ion at one time it was permeable to the sodium ions and at the other time it was permeable only to the potassium ions but we know that this is not the situation in our body a membrane is at the same time permeable to several different ions so when a membrane is permeable to several different ions the diffusion potential which develops on the membrane it depends upon three factors that is the charge of each ion which is penetrating across the membrane 
the permeability of the membrane to each ion and the concentrations of the respective ions on the inside and outside of the membrane. So, uh, in this situation the Goldman equation gives us the value of the membrane potential that is the potential that develops on the membrane and it considers the role of three important, ion, important ions of the ECF and ICF. These are sodium ions, potassium ions and chloride ions. So, by using this equation we can calculate the actual value of the membrane potential which develops on the cell membrane when it is permeable to several ions at the same time which is the actual situation in our body. So, this membrane uh, this equation Goldman equation it helps us to calculate uh, the resting membrane potential and uh, thus it is become it becomes very useful. Hope uh, you would have understood the basic concepts of the membrane potentials, diffusion potentials, Nernst potential and what is the purpose of Goldman equation. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.